Hi, my name is Mrs. Parker and welcome to my class. This year we'll learn a whole lot about technology and how to integrate that into all of your classes. I'm going to teach you how to use technology to be efficient. We'll use all kinds of technology, anything from computers to cell phones to I'll even bring up my little Sphero robots. Um, we are going to explore a lot of different uses of technology this year, and I look forward to that. So today I want to introduce you to my class, and we'll talk about it, and um, here goes. Okay, so my name is Mrs. Parker. This is my 25th year to teach. Um, I have enjoyed it. Can't believe that 25 years have already passed. Um, I've always taught career and technology classes, and I've always enjoyed them because I see the real life value of career and technology classes. How can I use this in the real world? Um, that's not something that we really struggle with in this class. Uh, there's definite uses. Okay, here goes. So if you'll follow the school policies, you'll have a much better school year. Um, the school hours as it stands now, and you know things are subject, subject to change, uh, Monday through Thursday from 7.55 to 2.20, Friday 7.55 to 2.20. Um, the school's phone number is there. And again, if you will just simply follow the rules in the handbook, you will have a much better school year and you'll stay out of trouble. All right, here we go. My website. My website helps you to stay um, up with uh, what we're doing in class. Uh, each week I will post my lesson plans on there. And so you'll be able to uh, get to my website by going to tinyurl.com slash toyparker2. And once you do that, you will be able to see anything from information about extra credit to my class expectations. Like, do I take plate work? The answer is yes. Um, and so you'll be able to find all kinds of information, uh, lesson plans. You'll find lesson plans on there as well. So if you want to know what we're doing on a week to week basis, check out my website, tinyurl.com slash toyparker2. Okay, let's talk about the class rules. First, do what the teacher asks. Now, I made memes out of this, and if you look on the poster behind my, my desk, uh, you will be able to see these. I just thought the memes made it a little more, um, I guess, interesting to look at. Do what the teacher asks. I do not think that I'm an unreasonable person. If I ask you to do something, then obviously do what I ask you to do and be respectful about it. Be in your seat and ready to work when the tardy bell sounds. Uh, don't be late to class. Uh, being late will result in a tardy. Once you're tardy three times to my class, you gotta go to ISS. Now, I would rather you not go to ISS. So, get to my class on time and we won't have a problem. Come to class prepared. Whatever it is that you might need for the day, bring it with you to class. I do not want you to have to leave class to go get the things you need. So make sure that you come to class prepared. As you enter the classroom each day, you will see next to my door a sign. And on that sign, I will write the things you will need that day. So just look at the sign and bring in what needs to be brought in. No talking out of turn. If you're talking when I'm talking, it's a little rude. Actually, it's a lot rude. So um, be respectful and don't talk when I'm talking. If you have a question, I'm always open for, for questions. That's fine, but you'll need to raise your hand and ask. Uh, you don't need to just blurt out answers or questions or, you know, talk to your friend about what you're going to do this weekend. Keep your hands, feet, and objects to yourself. I know this is not the biggest classroom you've ever been in. Keep yourself and your stuff in your space. Don't get into your neighbor's space. Turn in assignments by the due date. I do not take late work. Typically, you have at least one week to get your work turned in from the day it is assigned. Most assignments you have one week. Some assignments you have more than a week. 
very rarely will you have an assignment that I give it to you today and expect you to turn it in tomorrow. Most assignments, you have one week to turn it in. So if we do it on a Monday, then it is due the next Monday. If we do the assignment on a Tuesday, it is due the next Tuesday. So that's how that works. Respect school property. Keep the tables and chairs on the floor and do not vandalize this building. We all know we are not in the nicest building at the, at the Elkhart ISD. Let's try and take as good a care of it as we can. So respect school property. Don't tear up the tables and chairs. Don't write on the desk. Don't write on the bathroom walls or anything else. Um, please don't vandalize. This place is ugly enough as it is. Leave the room when dismissed. Just because the bell rings does not necessarily mean class is over. So please leave the room once you're dismissed. Okay, so if you misbehave, what will you um, encounter? Well, the first time you do it, and this is obviously for minor infractions, but the first time you do it, there'll be a verbal warning asking you to stop. So if you're talking to your friend about what you're gonna do this weekend, I'll say, hey, please stop talking, all right? Second offense. If you come in the next day and you're still talking to your friend when you're not supposed to be talking to your friend, well, then I'm going to give you a discipline card. And that's simply a card that you fill out telling me what you were doing and why, so that when we get to the third offense of you misbehaving, I have the discipline card and I'm calling your parent. And I'm telling them, look, here we have these two different instances, because notice on the second offense, you fill out a discipline card. And on the third offense, you also complete a discipline card. So I will be sharing that information with your parents when I call them. Now, if you continue to misbehave in my class, you will be sent to the principal's office. So let's try and avoid that. Let's just work together, be respectful, and have a great year. All right, let's not focus on the negative, let's focus on the positive. So, let's look at positive. When you have good behavior, we'll do group activities, there'll be less homework. I'll let you in on a little secret. I don't give homework very often. That's right, I don't give homework very often. So, if you get your work done in class, then there'll be no reason why you would have homework to do at home. We'll play games, we'll watch movies. It'll be a much more fun class if you're good. If you're misbehaving, it will not be a lot of fun. So let's try and behave ourselves so we can have a great year. All right, so you are using technology in here. So let's talk about technology use rules. First of all, no inappropriate websites. Hmm. What is that? That's a pretty big word, inappropriate. What is that? Okay. So you have the obvious. An inappropriate website, obviously, if they don't have on any clothes or they have very few clothes on, that would not be appropriate, in my opinion, period. But for school, it certainly would not be appropriate that you would be on a website with people with little to no clothing on. Other websites that would be inappropriate would be, for example, um, websites that might be disrespectful to other people whether it be their religious belief or their gender or their um, whatever it is that they might be, their race, what, whatever it is that they might be, um, that there might be a website that is negative toward it, obviously you do not need to be on that website. So that would be inappropriate. Now, before I leave inappropriate, let me talk to you about what will happen um, if you come across an inappropriate website, because we all know when you're on the internet, you may accidentally type a website address and you're off by one letter. And because you're off by that one letter, uh -oh, you're somewhere you shouldn't be. You're on an inappropriate website. Now, we have a web filtering system here at our school. Now, what that means to you is most of those sites are blocked. In other words, you don't just accidentally land there. However, not every one of the sites can be blocked. It's just not possible. So in the event that you get on one of those websites that are again not appropriate, in the event that you get on one of those websites, you need to close your laptop lid, you need to raise your hand, and you need to call me over to your computer. Now once I get over there, all I'm going to do is take your computer 
and I'm going to get that website address and I'm going to share it with the technology department so they can block it so nobody else accidentally gets there again. You are not in trouble. You have done what you were told to do. Way to go, you. You are awesome. Now, <clears throat> then there's the case of the kid who doesn't bother to let me know. In other words, this kid's on an inappropriate website and they are making no effort whatsoever to go, hey, Miss Marker, I accidentally got here. <clears throat> Instead, they're looking. Now, if I catch you, then it's immediately you're going to the office. Notice I said if. You see, it is not possible for me to see every single computer at any given moment. However, our tech department can. They have eyes and they watch you and they watch me. They watch everything we do on the internet and they keep records of it. It's called a log. And you see, they can run those logs and they can see what computer number, whatever number your computer is, was doing at any given moment. And because you log into the computer as you, they don't even have to guess who it is. So even if I don't catch you, tech department can catch you. So again, avoid those inappropriate websites. And if you happen to land on them, then make sure that you let me know so I can get the website blocked and you won't be in trouble. If you don't let me know and you land up in the trouble zone, what will happen is um, in the past, uh, I have obviously you go to the office. From there, depending on the websites that you're visiting, you may find yourself in ISS for a few weeks. You may find yourself in AEP. And some websites that you might visit might even land you in Juvie because there are websites that you should not be viewing that it's against the law for you to, to view them. <clears throat> so again, avoid those, avoid inappropriate websites and you won't have a problem. Okay, moving on down the list. Next up is um, social networks. Okay, this is going to be um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, Snapchat, uh, TikTok. Those are social networks. I'm sure there's plenty more. You know what a social network is. It defines your generation. No online social networks while you're at school. You have no need to be communicating with the outside world, your followers, your subscribers, your whatever you call them. You will not be doing that in my class. We are not doing social networks in my class. All right, no watching non-educational videos, all right? You cannot sit and watch a YouTube video just because. It could be just whatever, it's, it's people doing stupid skateboard tricks. You cannot do that. We're not gonna sit around and watch YouTube in this class. If you have some free time, then you can find something else to do on the computer besides sit around and watch YouTube or the likes. No non-educational videos. No downloading. Do not install programs on the computer. This is not your personal computer. You cannot change any of the settings or install things. Next up, use the computer responsibly or you will lose your computer privilege. Understand that it is a privilege for you to use the computer. If you don't use it responsibly, I will take it away from you. I have a limited number of computers and if you break one, I have no replacement. And you're not the only person that sits at that computer. So if you break it, not only are you affecting you, but you're affecting the other kid that sits there as well. So use it responsibly. If you cannot use it responsibly, I'm going to take you off the computer. I'm going to give you vocabulary words and end of chapter review questions while the other kids are doing assignments on the computer. All right, let's move on. Grading. Grading in this class is, to is used to determine knowledge that's acquired. In other words, how much do you know from what we've learned? Please remember that I do not accept late work. I won't do it. I'm trying to teach you how to be responsible. When you grow up, you've got to be responsible. If you're always late paying your bills or you're always late turning your work into your boss, that is negative consequences that I would really rather you not have. So if I can teach you now to get your stuff done on time, then I'm going to help you be a better adult. You won't be paying those late fees every month whenever you're paying your car payment because you paid it on time. You won't be paying the late fees to the electric company 
because you paid it on time. Your boss isn't going to fire you because you didn't get the work turned in on time. Learn to turn your work in on time. So that's that's my reasoning behind not taking late work. And again, remember, you have a week, at least a week to turn it in. You can do it. You got this. Okay. Next up, progress reports will be sent home every three weeks and report cards sent home at the end of six weeks. All right. Uh, this is the same as it's been. Grading policy, I am 60% daily work and 40% test in my class. All right. So that's how I'm going to get your grade. My availability, I am available to assist you in my class. You can always email me at tparker at elkhartisd.org. You can also call or text me at 903-329-1580. During my conference period, I can help you by appointment. So if I know you need some help and it happens to be maybe a band class or an ad class or some other class where a teacher will let you come in, I'll be glad to help you then. I can help you before school. I can help you after school by appointment. And again, you can find out a lot of information about my class, what's coming up. Um, do I take extra credit? Yes, I do. Um, all of that can be found at tinyurl.com slash Toy Parker and the number two. All right, my available. And so this year we're going to work together to make this a fun and memorable school year. I look forward to it. I look forward to getting to know each one of you. Um, I hope we have a great year. I hope that um, we're able to do all the wonderful and fun things that we're all that we've always done. And um, I just look forward to getting to know you.